Why does Riot rework champions and change their kits instead of just making a new champ with a new kit they will get? I miss old Mundo W and Volibear flip. That is a great question. So the question is like, hey, you all reworked uh, Volibear or uh, Mundo. Why didn't you just keep them and make someone new? Um, so there's a two, there's a couple of reasons we might do that. Okay. So first of all, sometimes the character just looks dated as heck and we need to fix it. So this doesn't mean we have to change their kit. But like, you know, like if you liked how old Galio looks, I guess that's okay. But we think new Galio just is a much better representation of like this gargoyle type of fantasy in the game. So um, similarly, old Scion didn't look too great compared to new Scion. Old Gangplank was a very generic pirate compared to the new one. And so one of the reasons we're going to rework a character is just because their visuals are dated in ways that not only look bad, but probably aren't good representations in like the modern game of like whatever fantasy they're trying to represent. So that's one of the reasons we'll rework a character. Now, of course, that's just visu visuals, right? So that's but other, the part of this question was like, well, why don't you just keep the kits, right? Like, um, why are you reworking a character and getting rid of their kit? I like the old kit. Um, and there's also, there's, there's three reasons for that. Okay. Three, three different reasons. Um, depends on the character. One is some kits we aren't willing to support in League of Legends. We're just like, we look at the kit and we're like, this kit is either severely unhealthy in a way that we just don't want it in the game anymore, or severely unpopular in a way that players, there just aren't enough players to make it worth keeping that character. So um, severely unhealthy is things like, uh, a good example of both was Old Scion. Old Scion was severely unhealthy and severely unfun. And so like we removed him, we changed him. Old uh, uh, Urgot was severely unhealthy and severely unfun, we changed him. Uh, old Aatrox wasn't unhealthy, but he was unfun, so we changed him. Old Aurelian Soul wasn't unhealthy, but he was unfun, so we changed him. And so one of the things is like, we basically, we kind of have like a minimum we're willing to accept in terms of a champion's play rate. And when a champion gets below that minimum, we kind of like look at that and we're like, yeah, this just doesn't have the audience that it needs to like be worth supporting this character in the game. Cause you gotta remember that any every time, every character in the game um, you know, they need to be balanced, they need to be tuned, they need to be bug fixed, they deserve to get skins, right? But when a character is severely, 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 critically, critically, critically unpopular and underplayed, suddenly it's like not nearly worth as much to make a skin for them. And it's not nearly worth as much to like, um, have to deal with their bugs every time that like you have you, a bug comes up, things like that. And so then it's like, hey, we probably need to do something about this character given how unpopular they are. And so basically one of the reasons is like they aren't living, uh, they're just, uh, they're just, they don't have that player base. Another reason we would rework a character is because even if their current kit is good or even okay, like, sorry, even if their current kit is like, okay, um, they're, they're, it doesn't uh, work with the fantasy the character is trying to present in like a strong enough way. So as an example of this uh, is um, Aurelia. Aurelia's old kit, actually, like, she was decently popular. She wasn't, like, giga, giga popular, but, you know, she was decently popular, and, like, the old kit was, you know, it was, it was kind of fun. You know, dash around, targeted some people. Um, but, like, it didn't really make any sense with, like, the psychic blade dancer. It just didn't really feel like you were a psychic blade dancer. And so sometimes when we update a character, um, we're saying, like, hey, this character's fantasy is a certain way, and this kit really just isn't hitting it, and it needs, like, a fresh take. Um, and so sometimes we look at that. And then finally, a last reason we would have to update a character is it might be that their current kit or mechanics are just so incredibly buggy or flawed that they're just not worth supporting in the game. So the, the prime example of this is Old Yorick. Old Yorick, for, for those of you who don't know, Old Yorick had this ultimate where he could resurrect his allies. He'd put it on them and he'd get a copy of them he could fight with. And then if they died, it would resurrect them as a ghost. That was one of the buggiest spells ever made in League of Legends. And you could be like, well, August, what about Viego? Nope, Yorick was buggier. What about old Mordecai? Nope, Yorick was buggier. Like every single champion had three days set aside for their champion desire to fix all the Yorick bugs that would eventually show up. And these weren't like trivial bugs. These weren't like, oh man, the particle looks strong. Oh man, it does two less damage. No, this was like, it crashes the game. It makes Karthus literally invulnerable. It makes Yorick literally invulnerable. Like that spell had like the most insane bugs. And so it ended up being such a massive dev cost for all the times we had to like just upkeep it every time we did anything. We ended up reworking Yorick partially because he was just unpopular and unfun, but also because his bugs were just so bad 
bad that we just we needed a new character there. We needed a new ult. In fact, like one of the reasons old Yorick, we uh, a, a fact about old Yorick is we deliberately kept old Yorick undertuned, like weak, purely because he actively degraded game quality when he was in it in terms of bugs, not in terms of like frustration, but in terms of bugs. Like literally, the more Yorick games there were, the more crashes there were in League of Legends. <laughs> the more Yorick games there were, the more there was like times where like some person just literally turns invincible. Um, and so we we deliberately kept him weak because it was actually just degrading to physical game state if he was in the game. That's old Yorick and like that was one of the reasons we reworked him. A more recent example of this is Nico. Uh, Nico had that passive of like, you know, she could turn into other people. And that passive actually is unsurprisingly very, very buggy. Um, and it had a lot of upkeep, but it was also incredibly weak and no one it almost never used. And so we had this thing where Nico was putting a bunch of like bug pressure on on ca other characters, which was a lot of work, but it tended to not be worth the bugs because it was like, well, no one even uses Nico passive. Um, and so one of the reasons we did the mid scope with Nico is, um, is that uh, Phlox uh, thought, not only could I make this character more fun, but actually I can make this passive more used. So it's actually like worth supporting it more. Um, and so then uh, now we have current Nico, which is like an awesome mid scope. Like Phlox just destroyed it with that mid scope. It's very cool.